But we begin with a greenhouse project. The top nano greenhouse pilot project was started without government money and harvesting began on the 10th of October. Over the next 10 months, 30,000 kilograms of tomatoes will be harvested. The project is being managed by a holding company until the local cooperative has mastered the craft of successfully growing export grade greenhouse tomatoes. This cooperative greenhouse farming initiative project uh, was inspired by the need to bring employment to the people in rural areas. Most people are, are moving from rural areas to get jobs in, in, in urban areas resulting in squatter camps, John Dollars coming up everywhere. We wanted to come with the idea of bringing the work to people in the rural areas. And uh, we, we then partnered uh, with Top Greenhouses Israel and Coa Holdings South Africa. To, to, to come up with a model, which is the one we have here. We come into the community working together with Coa Holdings and Coa Holdings raise the money for the community to get the greenhouses. Then we come in, we build the greenhouses where one of our engineers is on the site and we work with the local people who provide the labor for constructing the site. Once the, the site is up, Coa come back on the scene and train the people how to grow the vegetables uh, and nurture them and stay hand in hand working with, the, with, the, with these community workers until such a time that they are able to know how to do it themselves. So the process can take anything from three to five years for us to give the skills transfer and mentorship for the community. Uh, normally they are working as a cooperative. So this is a model that we are adopting. This greenhouse here is 1,000 square meters. The total costs to build such a structure is in the region of 350 to 400,000 rand uh, to get it up to uh, harvest stage. This is including the structure and the wages for the staff. Such a greenhouse is producing between 30 to 60,000 uh, kgs of tomatoes for a year. Currently, they are harvesting 1,500 kgs every week uh, for the month and they will continue to do so for the next 10 months. The planting uh, process involves planting seedlings. The seedlings are then transplanted into the greenhouse and uh, we, we are using a fertigation system where we are taking uh, the water from a local stream nearby and then we are mixing it with the fertilizer and having what we call drip irrigation. Uh, so we are preserving water and not using excessive fertilizer. Between growing and harvesting, it is taking between 60 to 80 days. And then from there we are harvesting for 10 months, uh, twice a week, every week, every month for up to 10 months. What makes this greenhouse project unique as opposed to other greenhouse projects that we have seen, number one is the community involvement. When we started out, the vision was not to simply erect a greenhouse in, in the middle of the valley. The vision was to really empower people to learn how to construct a greenhouse, learn how to run a greenhouse and successfully so, and learn what, what the process is that is involved in getting your produce from your farm into the marketplace. The other important thing or the unique factor is the partnership. You know, the, the relationship between the community at large, the relationship between the cooperatives that, that are the stakeholders or the custodians of this project, the relationship between the INCOSI as, as, as the local government, um, and then also the relationship between, um, you know, business enterprises such as COA Holdings and Top Greenhouses. So Safunda Nangama nitrogen, Ucheka man's pants, Ugutsi Alungel and Utanga Kulisa, Utamatesi, Ugut Mangabe Elungele, Fanele Abengagana, and Muache Kangama scales. My responsibilities and everyday activity of everything that needs to be done at the greenhouse. I am teaching cooperative members about the, how to grow the, the, the plants. And uh, I am, uh, I've got support from the, from the Nabiru's provided by Coa Holdings. He is my supervisor, so I, I discuss each and every aspect of, uh, that is challenging at the greenhouse. We want to see this project expand out from KZN across to other provinces and even other countries. 
uh, and we know how to uh, collaborate together with the communities, the traditional leaders, the government and uh, other private partners. And we are able to provide the technical know-how to make sure that the project can grow uh, beyond the borders of South Africa and create more jobs.